Hi guys, welcome back to Kim's class. Today's lesson is going to focus on the how and why words like could have, would have, should have, and must have turn into words like coulda, woulda, shoulda, musta. Let's go ahead and look at the objectives. The first objective says, I know the difference between teacher talk, like me, and street talk, what you hear at work, in the grocery store, or just outside of the English classroom. The next objective says, I understand why words like these, why they're used, and how to use them. Now, during our practice time for this lesson, I'm going to be using example phrases from my idiom lesson that's titled, At the Movies. Don't worry if you don't understand what those idioms or slang mean. You can always watch that video later. Let's go ahead and look at the rules and how something like this works. So let's go ahead and look at the rules of the how and the why these words change. In the word must have, could have, would have, and should have sound like musta, coulda, woulda, and shoulda. The big part of what's going on here has to do with the word have. You'll notice that these words don't change, but the second word have does. Here's why. When a letter has a weak sound, like the H and the V in the word have, they're not pronounced in these phrases. So must have turns into musta. Could have turns into could have. Would have turns into woulda. And should have turns into shoulda. Let's look at some examples of how this works. Remember, if you see a word that's underlined in green, it means it's an idiom. If you don't know what these idioms mean, you can go back and look at my lessons. These idioms can be found in my lesson called idioms at the movies. Let's go ahead and look at the first example. The first example, teacher talk, sounds like the movie must have been a bomb. What you hear is very different. What you hear is the movie must have been a bomb. Did you hear the difference? Must have been a bomb or must have been a bomb. Let's look at the word could and how it changes. That sentence says, teacher talk, it could have been a blockbuster. It's not what you hear. What you actually hear is, it could have been a blockbuster. Did you catch that? Could have been turns into could have been. Let's look at the next example. The next example, teacher talk, says it should have been a blockbuster. Should have been a blockbuster. That's not what you hear. What you actually hear is it should have been a blockbuster. Should have been a blockbuster. Different, isn't it? Our next example is using the word would. Let's listen to the teacher talk. It would have been a blockbuster. Not what you hear. What you hear is it woulda been a blockbuster. Would have been, teacher talk, woulda been, street talk. Let's go ahead and look at the lesson objectives and see how we did. So, can you and do you 
know the difference between teacher talk and street talk. I think you can. Do you understand why words like these are used and how to use them? I think we've had practice with that too. So for now, I want to thank you for coming to Kim's class and thank you for letting me come on this journey with you to learn English. Goodbye for now.